That's the TV. Welcome to the quiz show, Face to Face. I am your host, Andy's Komeiji. A quiz show? It disappeared. I don't know anything. Huh? I really don't know. Mommy? Mizuki. The data we got from Tama might come in handy. It's from when Ryuki synced with Amame. Right. When we shared information at the cathedral earlier. I extracted the evidence data that looked promising and converted it to a more usable format. Project this outward and the structure of this Somnium world will waver and unveil hidden information. In other words, if we show Mame the intel we got from Tama, we'll get a reaction. Yes, but not just Amame. You can use the information to target many things in this Somnium. So you're saying I can target, like, objects? Correct. If anything looks fishy, I'll try it out. The details are under look. View the information there. According to Tama's info, in the previous sync, there was a quiz battle. This is the first stage, the scavenger quiz. Amame likes music and voices. She collected many different kinds of sounds. She became highly skilled in gaining information from sounds. So that might mean that there's information in the sound of Mame Somnium. During this sync, we should focus on the sound. This is Mame Somnium from yesterday. Ryuki and Tama competed in a quiz battle to get this information. The information is as follows. Amame was often troubled, but when in doubt, she always chose the right option. When in doubt or when needing to hide something, she chose the option on the right. Thusly, all the occult quiz answers were on the right side. So that wasn't just by chance. This may be a common rule in Amame Somnium. This is information Ryuki and Tama acquired playing the Spot the Difference game in Amame Somnium. Amame came across many wounded things. Important things. The heart. Blood. She carries all of that damage inside. All the correct answers were bloodied or otherwise damaged when playing the Spot the Difference game. So we should look out for damaged things during the sink. Yes, let's keep that in mind. More information we got from Ryuki regarding Mame's sink. Nirvana, collected, genocide. Amame said these words. That has to be about the Nirvana initiative. Most likely. Mame must know something. This is the reason Ryuki decided to sink into Amame. According to the investigation, there was a high likelihood Amame saw terror when she found Komeiji's body, but this has not yet been confirmed. That's all of it. Looks promising for the investigation. Yes. Let's use this wisely. Now, Aiba. Got it. Somnium scan, activate. Eight mental locks. More than usual. That shows how strongly she is willing to hide her secret. Let's try talking to her first. It's Amame. Amame, can you tell me what you know about the Nirvana Initiative? I don't know. I don't know anything. The same answer. It seems suspicious. According to the info Tama gave us, she has to know something. Would you like to show her the evidence? It might cause a reaction. Let's show her some evidence. 
It's a mame. How about what a mame said in yesterday's sink? Let's confirm the details. She has to be talking about the Nirvana Initiative. Yes, we should show her this. Amame, yesterday you said Nirvana collected genocide, though it was in a dream. You were talking about the Nirvana Initiative, correct? It was just an internet rumor. What site was it on? She's not saying anymore. I would like to keep questioning her, but I don't think we have anything that can draw more out of her. Let's check other locations. According to Tama... The characteristics we are looking for are something related to sound, something damaged, and right side only. A TV. Nothing is on the screen. I'm sorry. Not in the mood. A Vogueman. A cassette tape player. It's the one Mame always has on her. voice. The sound was distorted in the beginning. I was able to make out some words. Oh, it disappeared. We got the evidence. It should be fine. It's not information she got from the internet. Let's show Mame again. Mame, you heard about the Nirvana Initiative from someone. We have an idea of who that person was, but let's set that aside for now. In any case, you couldn't forget what you heard. In your dream yesterday, you said, Nirvana collected genocide. Amame, answer me. What is the Nirvana Initiative? I don't know. Anything. What's this? This is Amame's defensive reaction. She really wants to hide something. However, it appears to be permeable. We are one step closer. We should continue to evaluate how she reacts to get the information we are looking for. Let's look around. Looks like a lot changed. We are looking for something related to sound, something damaged, and right side only. It is in pieces, but I can determine that this is some kind of a cult magazine. This was not here before. Why is it in pieces?
a book on Nai's teachings. Mame? Do you have some kind of connection with Nai's? I read about it online. That is not possible. This information is not available online. Is Amame lying? Yes. I wonder why the occult magazine turned into that book. Perhaps due to this Somnium, everything is presenting a false appearance, hiding its true identity. A false appearance? Hey Mizuki, doesn't this book look like just the right side? Oh, can we use the evidence? Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Nice teachings. Only the right side. This is the truth? That seems to be the case. That doll was the one in the Nai's president's office. If Amame knows about it... Mame, did you go to the president's office? Well, Amame? I always talked about it with Iris, the secret society of Nai's. I was curious, so I went to seek them out. That means she could have heard about the Nirvana initiative from Tokiko. Maybe it was so insane to her that it scared her, and she wanted to hide it. If that was the reason, she could have simply told us at this point. Yeah, true. There's another reason she can't tell us. This is suspicious. Who is it? Who are you? Simulation. Tell me your name. Simulation. Not gonna answer, huh? Perhaps this individual is a nice devotee. This is suspicious. Who is it? Amame came into contact with you, and subconsciously stored information related to you. The reason the doll appeared in this Somnium is because Amame went to your room, and the reason Nai's teachings were found here is because she met you. Which would make you... Tokiko Shigure? The code, the code to, the to the basement, basement is 4901095. Huh? It is Tokiko. We should ask her what relationship she had with Amame. Yeah, let's show her the evidence. Amame, have you seen a book of Nai's teachings? They only exist in Nai's facilities. And the broken glass doll, that was in the Nai's president's office, Tokiko's room. And you knew the access code that only Tokiko should know. What happened between you and Tokiko? Tell me everything, Amame. Well... I saw everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. I can't run from it. I need to do it. I knew it. Amame was being threatened by Tokiko. Stop! I don't know! I don't know anything! Wait. 
Tokiko was murdered. W what are you trying to say? Mame would never do that! Tokiko had some kind of leverage over Amame. Some kind of secret. To keep her quiet. That would be motive. No. Oh, and one more thing. Date was explaining this at the Enda household earlier. Amame has motive to kill Terror as well. Her father was killed by Terror. Andy's Komeji. This is exactly how he was found. So his body is inside the bag. Terror's Iron Mask. Six years ago, at the studio, I saw them. I was trying to untie Ryuki, and they came in, pushing a stretcher. So I ran, but they caught me. Next thing I knew, I had a gun pointed at me. As Ryuki suspected, Amame had contact with Terror, Uru. At that time, she probably did not realize that inside the body bag, was Komeji's corpse. But when Ryuki regained consciousness, Amame saw it, and... She realized the man in the iron mask she saw was the person who killed him. Yes. Shoma's headphones. Huh. I can hear something. Since Shoma's gone, I'm gonna borrow this. I'm sorry. Shoma's robot. Mame took Shoma's robot with her? I used it to go shopping. That's it. The center circle at the stadium. It is highly likely that it was that monowheel robot that carried Uru's body there. Right, but without using the slicer, it's impossible. Mame didn't know that the slicer was in the basement of Horidori Institute. I don't know about that. The Iron Mask. It's broken in half, down the middle. It is the left side. Or, depending on how you look at it, the right side of the wearer. Indeed, let's call it the right eye side. This is... the statue at Horadori Institute? should search this place. Huh? I thought I heard something. I think you're just hearing things. It is a little past 12 a.m. on the 13th. This is the conversation that was held in the basement of Horadori Institute. So, what we were hearing was Mame? If she was not present, this conversation would not have played. 
Amane knew how to get to the basement. I suppose she was headed there on that day too, but she heard your voices and scrambled to hide. Why? That's where Tokiko's left half was, correct? Are you accusing me? We have this much proof. I think you have an idea of what Amame did. Mizuki. Hey, Mizuki. Yeah. Mizuki, you're an Abyss investigator. You need to face the truth. I know. I know. I'll do this right. Amame, you killed Uru to get revenge for your father, correct? But Tokiko saw you and blackmailed you. You killed her to keep her quiet. Then, you left Tokiko's right half in the president's office, and the left half remained in the basement of Horidori Institute. <laughs> You're not so smart. So many mistakes. to carry it. wrong we're wrong right you didn't kill anyone did you please tell me you didn't do it shut up shut up shut up shut up mommy what would you have done can you honestly say you wouldn't do the same really you always make the right decision you don't know anything don't talk to me like you understand This place is... Mommy? The Enda household. I'm sorry. We're getting a divorce. What are we going to do then? I hate to ask you to do this. But you need to choose which of us you'd like to stay with. You want me to choose like right now? I'm sorry. It's all your daddy's fault. I wasn't making money. I caused trouble for your mother. I'm really sorry. Which is worse to lose? The father or mother? What? Which is worse to lose? The father or mother? I suppose she's asking you to answer the question like she had to. I chose to go with mom, but if I chose dad... I'm going with you, dad. You need my help, so I need to look after you. Thank you, Amame. I'm so glad to hear that. If I chose my dad, I wonder how my future would have been different. going with mom. Mom works really hard. She needs my help. That's true, isn't it? You need to take care of your mom. 
I love your comedy, Dad. I'm always on your side. Thank you. Daddy's gonna do his best. Just you watch. She must feel guilt for her decision. But she did nothing wrong. I can understand that would bother her. What's next? You got a prize at a contest? That's amazing, Shoma! It was always your dream to make a robot. Good job! Yeah, thank you. It'll be a good memory. This might be my last time. Last time? Why? I used so much money to make that robot. Dad wanted a new outfit for work, but he's been putting it off. I can't be asking for stuff for my robots. I see. If I work after school and on weekends, I can make like 100,000 yen a month, maybe. With that money, I can buy robot parts and a new outfit for Dad. You're here for the interview, right? You want to work the night shift? Yes. I want to make a lot of money. How old are you? If you're in high school, I can't make you work late. Huh? Be truthful and be poor. Or lie and make money. Which would you choose? Another question. I lied in order to work. But if I didn't... I see. Okay. Oh, the other jobs were too low-paying. But I have some free time, so... I'll come home and eat dinner. If we cook at home, it would save money, right? You don't have to do that, but I think Dad would be happier about seeing you than the money. Oh, Amame! I didn't know you were here. Welcome home, Dad. If I saw my dad more, would I have noticed his problems? It's okay. I'm 20 years old. You look so young. Well, the more popular you are, the more you get paid, so good luck. Okay, thank you. She wanted to work. Even if it meant lying about her age, no, she needed to work. She really cares about her family. Oh, Amame. Sorry to call you so late. It's fine, I just finished work. Are you okay? What? I was watching that one show on my phone, Faith to Face. It got... pretty crazy. Right. That. I'm okay. I... did see half a corpse, but... You sound... upset. Should I come see you? You want me to be with you, right? That's why you called. N no That's not it. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. You be careful too. It can be dangerous out there at night. I'm gonna go see Dad. I need to support him. Mommy, what should I do? I'm scared. Oh, Iris. You were there too, right? Yeah. I saw the dead body. So can we... can we meet right now? Now? Please? 
I want you to be here. I'm... I'm... What would you do if your best friend and your family asked for help at the same time, and you could only choose one? Iris, I'm really sorry, but I need to go see someone. He needs my help. I need to be there for him. Uh, okay, I'll be fine. I understand. I'm sorry to ask you for such a weird thing out of the blue. I can stay on the line, though. I'll be listening. <laughs> Mommy, thank you. If I went to see Dad, maybe he wouldn't have died. Okay, I'll be right there. Iris, where are you now? Thanks, Mommy. Regrets this, too. Mommy. The book. I don't want to read this. This world is only a simulation. You could have been saved by this truth, but... Oh well. I'm going to tell you what I told you in the basement again. I saw everything that you did. If you don't want me to reveal what I know, do as I say. What are you going to make me do? On the night of the 12th, I will use the slicer to take my own life. What? No. Tokiko... killed herself? Afterward, I want you to take my right half to the President's office. Leave my body on the desk. Use the hidden elevator when coming here. I will explain how to use it later. I will tell you about the master key and access code. Why do I... That's not all. There is more I need you to do. You know what will happen if you decline, don't you? Which do you choose? Have your biggest secret spilled? Or be part of some dangerous plan? I had to obey. I had to do what she said. I understand. I can't run from it. I need to do it. It. Guru Somizuki. Yes, this world is an imperfect one. I was put through much hardship, but it's all a simulation after all. As long as I can reach Moksha, all will be well. The teachings of Nyes are absolute, as is the prophecy. Hey, can I ask one thing? Yes. Are you really terror? <laughs> yes, I am. What of it? Do you remember what happened on February 13th, six years ago? Of course. I will never forget. That was the fateful day I met you. You were a witness to history. You are worthy to know our ideals. 
Which is why I invited you here. Enough about the past. Let's talk about the future. A ViewCube video will soon be made public. Nirvana X. Many people will watch it. Those who see it will collect in a predetermined location. Why? The first step for all mankind to reach Moksha. I want to share the excitement with as many people as possible. At this important place, the intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the scene can occur. And the Nirvana Initiative will become reality. I know what he did. I saw what he did. He came to the studio with a corpse on a stretcher. <laughs> this is magnificent! Don't you think so? Why? 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 Why do you just laugh about it? The daughter of the man you killed is right here! Right in front of you! He killed my dad. All for some stupid teachings and prophecy. He ruined Shoma's life and mine. It's all his fault. All of it! Someone important was hurt in front of me. Make the person apologize, or get revenge. You... It's all your fault. Same pain. <laughs> Regardless of the motive, Amame committed a serious crime. That cannot be overlooked. I know, but this is just too much. If she never got involved, it wouldn't have happened. If only she chose her father over her mother. If only she saw him more. He might still be alive. If she never ran into him again. If she didn't follow him. She may not have killed Uru. If that didn't happen, Tokiko wouldn't have used her. But there are no ifs in this world. You can agonize over it all you want, but you cannot go back and change your path. That is the truth of this existence. I chose this path! I had to choose this path! Of course I feel guilty! Of course I'm scared! But I did it! I did what was best for me! I don't care if people attack me for it! I have no regrets! I have no regrets!